G'day viewers, Grazer. Thanks for tuning in. Just about to head out to one of the local rivers here and flick a few lures, just walking the banks. And I was just setting out my gear and I thought it's probably an opportune time to just do a short video and just give you a bit of an idea of what I pack um, just as I'm just about to head out. So I suppose one of the most important things is is the tackle. Um, trying to keep it to a minimum. As said, I'm going out and gonna chase down. Well, I'm gonna be targeting some some yellow belly golden perch, and also with the possibility that I may even come across a Murray cod. So I'm. It's gonna be pretty skinny water. It's not gonna be very deep. So. I'm just going to be um, flicking a few hard bodies. So I've got the old, the old fateful sort of um, stumpies, which are the, the smaller, smaller type, just with the shallow bibs. I've got a few um, AC, um, smaller AC invaders. Got a few of the poltergeist type lures, um, which are going to get me down a little bit deeper. Um, I've got a variation of bibs on them, so. I can, if I do come across a deeper pool, I can get some down, some, something down a little bit deeper. Um, got a variation of colours. I haven't been out there where I'm going today. I haven't been out there for a while, so I'm not sure what the clarity of the water is going to be. So I've got a few darker colours and a few sort of fluoro bright colours, so I can sort of mix it up a bit. Got a little chatterbait in there as well, and I've um, got a little spinnerbait here which I have it open. Um, which is the Bassman Coleman uh, Yellowman series, uh, which is a little half ounce, so it'll get down nice and deep in those pools. Um, and that's pretty well it. Um, being mindful, I'm not going to be out there for long. There's no way I'm going to use this amount of lures. But I've also got a couple of um, little Helco surface lures here. I've got a nice darker colour. Got a, a sort of that fluoro, uh, sorry, that shiny gold colour. So if I do decide to stay a little bit later, I've got that option as well. The rod and reel I'm going to be using tonight is just a, a little Shimano um, Raider. It's probably a little bit heavy. Um, it's a slow rod. Um, it's just a, I think it's a, yeah, uh, I think it's about five foot and it's just under six foot. Got a little Dawa. <laughs> D cast, which is, um, I think it's got about 15 pound braid on it, got a 20 pound leader. Um, had this for a long time, so we'll give that a whirl and um, something I can throw around without worrying too much about damaging it. So, the other tackle that I'll take out is um, just a pair of braid scissors, just some lick grips, and just um, a pair of pliers, which is always good for trying to get those these tough hooks embedded in some of the mouths. I've just got a little tackle box here which has got a few clips, bits and pieces which is nice and light. Um, I take a bit of leader with me just in case that snaps off if I get snagged. Um, yeah and that's pretty well the tackle that I take out. Um, just a nice light tackle box which I throw it on there which goes in my bag. One of the other things um, Heading out, as I always carry a little head torch in my bag. Um, also be mindful, one of the things that um, you want to make sure that you take out is your fishing license. And you've got that in your bag just in case you get pulled up by the fisheries doing their job. Now being summer, it's always important that we've got something to protect us from the elements. And being, being a ranger, just got to make sure we've got some sunscreen. Um, and some insect repellent. Can't beat the old Bushman's 40% deep. Uh, make sure we've got some, some eyewear, so I've just got some sunnies there. Good metal bottle, so there's some H2O. Good muesli bar there if I get peckish. And one of the things that I always wear when I'm walking the banks is, um, especially in summer, um, good set of gum boots. 
And the main reason for that one, they'll keep your feet dry, but to, yeah, just um, in case you come across a s snake. So um, I know they're not the most comfortable footwear, but at least you know you're not gonna get bitten by a snake walking through that long grass. Now the bag I use is, um, I've had this for a long time, I'm not sure where, I think I might've got it from BCF is, um, is my backpack there, uh, which is ideal um, for packing everything in. And that's pretty well it. Um, we just take a little GoPro here, which I haven't done a lot of filming um, out on the skinny water. So I'm gonna take that out tonight, it's just with my little chest mount, and my external um, battery. If you wanna know anything more about um, how I set that up, um, just let us know. And there you have it guys, all ready to go. Got the rod. Got the bag packed, got the gummies, got a nice loose shirt on, got the hat on, so ready to go out into the sun and yeah, hopefully chase down a fish. So one other thing I'd like to point out is um, your tools, yeah, so pliers, scissors, especially your lip grips, um, always good to have those nice and handy, especially um, if you do get a good fish, it's probably one of the first things you're going to be looking for, so always like to have that on the side pack there so yeah let me know what you think if you've got any comments um or if you believe that there's yeah something that i've missed um love to hear from you so thanks for tuning in guys hope you got some value out of the video if you did um give it a thumbs up and um yeah hope to see you out in the water soon cheers